What's going on, my NF fam? My wonderful, wonderful outcast, man. Today, we got NF time continuing the NF journey, man. And I do want to just take a quick little second and just say thank y'all, man, because this journey been amazing. Y'all been keeping me up on point on everything, you know, just kind of sharing some of y'all life stories, going back and forth in the comment section. And I feel like we're starting to gain a lot more traction on the NF journey as I'm getting deeper through it. And I do plan to stick it out and continue the entire journey because I'm having a great time with it. But just wanted to let y'all know that I do appreciate each and every last one of y'all. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. I don't want to make the intro too long. We got NF time. <laughs> Y'all did say this was the official uh, video too. Even if we both break down tonight And you say you hate me And we go to bed angry I know everything will be alright I'll be here waiting I promise I'm changing I just need a little time to show you I'm worth it I know that I can be a difficult person I'm a stress case, drive you up the wall when I'm working Actually, I'm probably worse when I'm not You don't deserve it, make you nervous Cause you know I'ma break soon Every time I do, I say something that hurts you Acting like I'm gone, but we both in the same room I don't like to be wrong, which I know you relate to And I know I make you feel like you're at the end of your road That's when I look at you and tell you I'll be better alone it's Just a pride talking, isn't it? Cause both of us know I'm the definition of wreck if you look into my soul Comes out the most when I feel I'm in a vulnerable place made a lot of mistakes i wish i knew how to erase when i'm afraid might get distant and i push you away but no matter the case i'm gonna do whatever it takes even if both break down. wait wait i when i first seen it i had a thought in my head but i was like i'm gonna let it play a little bit more just to see but and which i, I could be wrong i ain't seen it all the way yet but i'm gonna pause it right here and, and let y'all know what i'm thinking right here Cause in the beginning he was talking about you know like being angry uh you know it could be a relationship uh husband wife boyfriend girlfriend mom uh or, or i just say parents and kids and you know just loved ones and stuff in general but going to bed and which my my grandma my auntie my mom they used to always tell me because me and my sister we argue a lot be fussing and fighting and they'll be like before you go to bed make sure that you tell your sister that you love her and don't go to bed mad. They used to always say that. And I'm I'm always saying to myself, like, why? Why why don't I need to go to bed mad? But as I got older, I started understanding because it's like you, the last thing you want to do is get in an argument, get to fussing, fighting, cursing with someone that you love, and God forbid something happened to them. And now you stuck with that regret for the rest of your life. So it seemed like right here they they may have gotten into some type of argument and you know she got in the car and got ready to leave but now it's reversing back and it's like if you could go back and change that and which i don't know maybe something gonna happen to one of them i'm gonna just have to see but it's like if you could reverse that you know and make it right you know before something does happen but i'm, I'm gonna run it back from the top and just you know just to kind of kind of see but that that's what it seems like going on right here though he just everything is just reversing Man, it's so much I can say about this. Even if we both break down tonight And you say you hate me And we go to bed angry I know everything will be alright I'll be here waiting I promise I'm changing I just need a little time to show you I'm worth it I know that I can be a difficult person I'm a stress case, drive you up the wall when I'm working Actually, I'm probably worse when I'm not You don't deserve it, make you nervous Cause you know I'm a break soon Every time I do, I say something that hurts you Acting like I'm gone, but we both in the same room I don't like to be wrong, which I know you relate to And I know I make you feel like you're at the end of your road That's when I look at you and tell you I'll be better alone it's Just a pride talking, isn't it? Cause both of us know I'm the definition of wreck If you look into my soul, comes out the most when I feel I'm in see right there he he detailing so much stuff. Cause when you angry in that moment 
you say a lot of stuff that you end up, you know, kind of, you know, you, you might have that inner thought to yourself, like, dang, I wish I wouldn't have said that, or I regret saying that because once it come out, it's no reversing it. Like, especially when you angry, you, you just, you going to say some of anything, man. It, a lot of it could be stuff that you had been thinking already. And then a lot of it is just kind of like just spur in the moment stuff, but it's just like, like if you can do not stay angry at that person like uh, you know i understand you're gonna have arguments here and there and stuff but you got to be able to make it right man before it's too late you you got to be able to niggas both of us know i'm the definition of wreck if you look into my soul comes out the most when i feel i'm in a vulnerable place made a lot of mistakes i wish i knew how to erase when i'm afraid might get distant and i push you away but no matter the case i'ma do whatever it takes even if both break down tonight and you say you hate me and we go to bed angry i know everything will be all right reverse it i'll be here waiting i promise i'm changing i just need time gotta have a little bit of time I bought you the ring We were fighting back and forth Like you were wearing a thing Two passionate people Not afraid to say what they think Lead a passionate conversation When it's hard to agree You know me well Sitting on the edge of my seat Looking at life Over analyzing everything Always depressed Trying to find a better version of me Searching for something I know's probably right in front of my feet Stubborn as me Maybe not but you're close to it Got a lot of issues I'm trying to work through them Going to therapy for you Something that's worth doing When I know you've been there for me Through all of my worst moments And I know it hurts Knowing that I carry this weight on my chest Making it different Difficult for me to open up and connect A lot of regrets, I apologize for all of the stress That's not what I meant to do, you know I love you to death Even if both break Okay, okay, so So I, I know at the beginning I would ask You know, I was wondering like Relationship, uh, parent, you know, a husband, wife or whatever But based on what he just detailed right there He going into like that relationship aspect Between, you know, two loved ones and stuff And he was saying like you know they arguing having having problems and stuff as if they was you know they had already uh like got married and stuff but they ain't even got married yet so that's a whole different dynamic right now but you know it, it seemed like all throughout they like they regular day and stuff it's like they've been been at odds with each other you can see how they were tossing and turning turning in bed and stuff you know just probably just battling with those inner thoughts and dealing with everything that's going on and stuff instead of just taking time you know thus the title taking time to actually sit down and talk about it and understand like what went wrong or what's going on that's causing this rift in the relationship and you know i, I could just use that for me and my wife because um we've been married for four years now but we've been together for about seven or eight and we've never been into an argument like nothing we don't had disagreements and stuff but as far as just arguing never because any anytime we have a disagreement we able to sit down and talk about it and you know see like you know what what caused this why did this happen how do we fix this going forward so that it don't happen again and you know sometimes like once you do have those disagreements and stuff you know you'll be a little angry and stuff right in the moment but like i said you just give yourself that time you know we don't do nothing crazy you just you know have a little time apart you know so we can you know think about what's going on and stuff think about what happened and then we re revisit that with a conversation and that helps strengthen the bond in the marriage and a relationship. So I'm wondering if, if he gonna detail any of that too. This weight on my chest, making it difficult for me to open up and connect. A lot of regrets, I apologize for all of the stress. That's not what I meant to do. You know I love you to death, even if both break down tonight. And you say you hate me and we go to bed angry. I know everything will be alright I'll be uh. here waiting I promise I'm changing I just need time Look, look right here. 
he detailed in it and he i like how at the beginning he showed how they was at odds and stuff but now if you backtrack it and then you know like you change up the time and stuff you can see how happy they are and it's like what went wrong we we need to talk about it because we had this at first and now we we at this but we need to get it back to what it was at first though why you know why don't even I don't even think there's much more that I need to add to that because I I added so much throughout that video right there but it, it just goes back to what I tell y'all like the storytelling and everything that NF do with his music and stuff it'll just pull you in and make you know especially if you done been through that you going through it or you know someone that's going through it or done been through it and stuff like it, it's so relatable and that's what I love about this music but if y'all can y'all just detail you know give me some more details and stuff maybe if you want to share some life experiences on how this song might help you or how it help you understand that whole time aspect and you know not going to bed angry at anyone um you know, which it don't have to be a spouse it just you know just and it could be best friend it could even be an enemy like just don't go to bed angry like it, if anything let some time pass talk about it be able to fix it and move forward man but hopefully y'all enjoyed it Y'all make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stay positive and stay smiling. And without further ado, this is your boy Richard Quinn. I'm out.